Hey, Scotty, would you like to dive back into Ravnica with me? Ooh, that is much better. Okay, let's do that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another one of our Lazy Swim unboxing videos, a series where Scotty and I take the time to unbox products and read out cards while letting you know how good they are and if the product is truly worth your time and money. So grab your favorite drink, sit down, lay back, and relax as we dive deep into this unboxing. And today we are finally going to unbox the Murder of Carlo Manor Play Booster Box. Thank you very much. Scotty for that intro I am Vlad your host and this is the first expansion of the year and yes we are a bit behind as you might have seen we have been very very hard at work and we have created our own car marketplace that is exclusive to the UK so if you are interested in buying and selling your cars you can go and check it out I'll leave a link in the description down below but without further ado let's get cracking so this is also first because we are finally opening play boosters play boosters are the new way of of melding set boosters and draft boosters so that they wouldn't have too many draft boosters lying around because they realized actually that people still like to draft but they prefer mostly to open set boosters so that's what they figured out and from what i hear it has been a pretty good product uh, a lot of people have enjoyed it and uh, it's something that a lot of people have said that it should have been done a long while ago and from what i remember back when we were unboxing the first of the collection blueprint 2.0 and all that stuff which was a throne of eldraine uh, we didn't really need it because the the way that the rares and all the collector's editions were being cast inside of a draft boosters were plenty enough and you could still draft with it so um, i think they kind of went back and just readjusted it so without further ado let's dive into it also, I'm happy to see you back if you're back. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to dive in and we're going to see how it is. So if you're new, just letting you know, I'm going to be reading through most of these cards and giving you our opinion, how good they are um, in the limited format and in general, and then go from there, just giving you an opinion and if it's really worth to buy the product and what our, our thoughts are. So overall, this is what we do. So we take our time. This is not a... Oh, I'm going to unbox to try and get the uh, rares cards and see what the greatest hits are, even though it's nice to get them. So without further ado, Market Watch Phantom is the first one. It's a 2-2 Spirit Detective. It costs 2 as white, and whenever a creature with the power 2 or less enters the battlefield under your control, it gains flying until the end of turn. Very, very good in limited, I can tell you that. Um, because of the way that the set is, there are a lot of uh, 2 or less, especially because of the cloaked ability and of the suspect ability. So yeah, they're very, very good. And... Um, this will likely, if you build around it right, you will get a good way of um, getting flying most of the time. Bubble Smuggler. So this is a disguise. And you put this creature that is a 2-1 that costs 2, it's blue. You put it down. That's a 2-2 two -two creature. That, uh, it's basically what the old morph used to be. I said that it costs 3. You put it down. It has ward 2. So morph didn't used to have that. And then for the disguise cost, you flip it. And whenever you turn it face up, you put 4 counters on this, becoming a 6-5 pretty good um, in the late game and then we have vengeful creepers a 5-5 five, five that costs 5 it's a flying elemental is green it disguises for 6 and whenever it turns face up it destroys target RF enchantment and important controls it can be decent against the right decks and a 5-5 five, five for 5 or 6-ish is not that bad so I actually like that then we have snarling gorehound is a 1-1 one, one that costs 1 has menace is a dog and whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters the battle if you're in control you get to surveil so I guess the same principle uh, I think it's pretty nice oh escape tunnel so it's a lion tap, tap it, sack it, and then search your library for basic land card, putting it back to field tap, then shuffle. So this is a decent way to mana fix yourself. And then um, tap and sack it, target creature power two or less, can't be blocked this turn. I think this could be really, really good. Overall, if you get a link elite end game, you get to use the second ability. If you get it uh, early, you can use the first ability. So that's pretty decent. Then we have an authorized exit. It's an instant and it's blue and costs two. Return target, no land permanent to its owner's hand. You surveil one, okay. It's okay. It's not the greatest. Oh, murder makes a return. And that is a beautiful illustration. That is a really cool illustration right there. And um, I wonder who it is. Oh, Zagana. Okay. Fair enough. That is really, really nice. And yep, it's the plain old mode murder. You destroy a creature. And of course, it's really, really strong if you're playing black, even though it has double black pip. Meddling use is a 4-5 that costs 5. And it does have Boris. And the cost has haste. And whenever you attack with 3 or more creatures, you get to 
investigate. So we investigate our back, we get the clues. And I think this is actually a pretty good creature. Slimy Dual Leech. Uh, it's a 2-4 that costs 4. It's black. At the beginning of your combat, on your turn, target creature you control with power 2 or less gets plus 1, plus 0, and gains 10 touch until the end of turn. This can be really annoying in the right tank. Caught right-handed. It costs 5. It's red. It's an instant. And it cannot be countered. This includes ward abilities. They started adding this now. This expansion because of the ward. And gain control of target creature until the end of turn. And tap it. And it gains haste. And you suspect it. Uh, basically, uh, yeah. So it gains haste until the end of turn. Then you suspect it. That's not bad. I mean, it, it can be a, a turn table. I like to have one of these effects if I'm playing the colors at least once in my deck. Because it, it has, well, turned the table quite quite significant for me uh, overall. It's a 3-2 Ball Rack Clan Basher. It costs 6 with double red pip. Double strike. And trample. And this guys. Ooh, it could be good if you manage to flip it around um because of the um, double strike and trample of course you can always buff it uh, there's a trend here but a lot of creatures are are easier to kill where the toughness is less than their power oh case of the uneaten feast i like these cases uh whenever a creature enters the battlefield and control you gain a life and it costs only one white of course it's like a saga so it's an enchantment and then to solve you if you gain five or more life this turn and it solves at the beginning of your end step so it counts as solved and then if it's solved you sacrifice it creature cards in your graveyard gain you may cast this card from graveyard until the end of turn so that could be really good in the right deck oh and now we're getting to see some of the dossier or file showcase versions very nice very beautiful and very striking in the foil this is a gleaming gear drake is a one one that cost is it it's an artifact creature flying when it enters the battlefield you investigate and whenever you sacrifice an artifact you put a plus one plus one counter on it very 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 strong for this color combination because is it does exactly that and then we get a mountain very cool and then uh oh a sign what is this a sign course to kill justina dura very beautiful very very beautiful a lot of colors on this okay next up we're going to continue on let's see what we get so how have you been liking this expansion so far i think it's been fun from what i've seen the videos i've seen it's been a great expansion a suspicious detonation it is a sorcery it costs five it's red this spell costs three genetic plastic cast if you sacrifice an artifact this turn which is very easy in this expansion with clues and this spell cannot be countered and deals four damage to target creature so it's like a galvanize um the yeah it's it's not bad I th i'd prefer galvanize over this but yep yeah, it's it's there if you need it crime stopper sprite is a 2-2 that costs three and it's fair detective and has additional cost to cast a spell you may collect evidence six which means the exile cards from the graveyard to match the value of six minimum uh given the cost and then flying when it enters the battlefield a tap target creature if evidence was collected instead we put a counter on it as well very good in the right deck and collecting evidence six is not that hard has the vigilante or for giant soldier it costs five when it enters the battlefield or attacks you put a plus one plus one counter on target creature control with power two or less buffing uh, not a bad one uh, it, it's sad that nowadays creatures like this are like eh, they're not bad <laughs> back in the day they, they would be insanely strong undercover crocodile is a 5-5 five, five that costs 6 with semicolon cost whenever it deals combat damage to a player you get to investigate and you can disguise it for 3 and any of the semicolors so that is very very beautiful it tends to the semicolors um, yeah very strong I, th I believe in the right deck this could be really strong and then we get crowd control warden is a 4-4 four, four center soldier costs 5 and it is Lesnia. As ground control enters the battlefield or is turned face up, you put X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is a number of other creatures you control, and you can disguise it for the same cost. So that's very, really good, uh, except for the fact that you can choose either of the Lesnia colors. So uh, that's going to be very strong because then you don't need to splash the semi colors. So if you have any other deck, you can still play these uh, so long as you have either green or, or blue or, and or green and white so that's very very nice i like these and then we got public thoroughfares the land when it enters a battlefield it does so tap and when it enters the battlefield you sacrifice it unless you tap a non-tap artifact or land you control and then you add one mono every color it's a slower mana fixer can do something crow whip cracker that's a three two insect assassin and cost bulgari has reach and when it enters the battlefield destroy target token and opponent controls the token could be interesting in certain 
on DAX because, of course, a lot of people do create those clues and clues can help you get through your deck at the end of the game. Um, but it does, uh, and it also trades up. So yeah, because it's a three, two. So yeah, I like this one. Not on my watch. It's an instant, costs two and exile target attacking creature. So it can be good. Again, if you don't have any great removal, uh, why not go for it? Um, the, the, um, the fact that it's uh, an instant with an attacking creature, it's okay. Um, you need to wait for them to make their move. But if you don't have any other better removal, why not? Giant Weaver, which is creepy as all hell. It reminds you of Shilob. 3-3 three, three Spider costs seven and has reach, of course. When it's this battlefield, you distribute three plus one plus one counters amongst one, two, or three creatures, target creatures. And then you gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. So it's either a 6-6 six, six Reacher or it just buffs. Um, if you have something that's bigger, then you can get that much life. It can be very scary. Um, it could be a one-off in the right deck for the late game. Then we have Barb Servitor. This is a 1-1 one, one artifact creature construct. It's black, so it costs three generic one black. It's indestructible. When it is a battlefield, you suspect it, meaning that it has menace. And whenever it deals common damage to a player, you draw a card and you lose a life. Okay, draw a card, lose a life. And whenever Servitor is dealt damage, target opponent loses that much life. It's okay. Uh, it's definitely, I love this ability. If you can get him under the, um, the radar as much as you can, you can definitely ramp yourself up and uh, yeah this one could be just a, a bonus so it, it could be okay it's it's not the strongest rare oh then we get a mythic first mythic of the box aurelia's vindicator it's a 4-2 angel cost 4 and it has flying lifelink and war 2 and you can disguise it for x and uh, 3 generic and 1 white when it is turned face up you can exile up to x other creatures from the battlefield and or creature cards from graveyards and when it leaves the battlefield you return the exile cards to their owner's hands so even though it does trade down it does have flying and lifelink and ward so it's really annoying to deal with it can be really strong if you just play it off like that and when you disguise it it's basically a prison effect but it doesn't return them to play it returns them to hands so yeah definitely very really strong but i do see this continuous trend of a uh, small toughness so i think balance out the fact that there's gonna be the suspects um disguised running around right Okay, Novice Inspector is a 1-2 that costs 1. It's a human detective. And when it enters the battlefield, you investigate. Okay, they reprinted that uh, in a different way. So, yeah, that's cool. I'll, I like this one. And um, that's foil. I'm going to put it here for now. Um, as usual, organizing these things is a, is a pain in the buttocks. Then we have Quintorians, Field Historian. So this was the first time we saw Quintorius. And a Strixhaven is a 2-4, costs 5. And it is Boros. I, I like this card. And I love the Quintorius from the law. Lost Cameras are excellent. So, and then we get a mounted and an arena code. Very, very, very nice. So, um, that is one of the list cards. Next up, let's go here. Let's continue on. As we go on, you'll see that we'll skip the cards that we've already seen. Defenestrated Phantom. <laughs> this reminds me of Cusco in the, uh, what was it? Uh, the Emperor's New Groove. Defenestrated Phantom is a 4 3 that costs 6. That's expensive. Um, you can disguise it for 5 and it's just a flyer. Um, too expensive for what it does. Fitugazi Inspector is a 1 3 elf detective that costs 2 as a green and as an additional cost cast a spell. You may collect the evidence 6 and has reach when it is a battlefield. If the evidence was collected, you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature and you gain 2 life. Very, very, very strong. Do not underestimate the power of a 2 4 this early in the game, especially when you have um, so many on opposing boards with such a low toughness. So this could be really good. Now, granted i'm not a draft professional so <laughs> i might be completely wrong but it seems like that is the way that this is going so unscrupulous agent is a 1-1 one, one elf detective it costs two and it is black when it is a battlefield target opponent exiles a card from their hand very very good and i like it and it's annoying and it is a detective so if there's um just like the elf detective ways to synergize with detectives this one will synergize but that is just annoying because it exiles so it doesn't surveil it you know put it in the graveyard which means that the evidence cannot be collected or you can't have any graveyard shenanigans then we get innocent bystander
there's a 2-1 Goblin Citizen. Cost 2, it's red. Whenever it is dealt 3 or more damage, you get to investigate. Okay. Um, it replaces itself. It trades downwards. Uh, but if you do use it intelligently, then you get to replace it itself. It's it's kind of mixed. It's okay. Uh, it's a, I guess. Uh, I don't necessarily like creatures that can trade down too easily. Granite Witness is a 3-2 Gargoyle Detective and a Xerus creature. And it has flying and vigilance and this guy's too. So for five, you can flip it back up between the turning and face down and back up. And when it is turned face up, you may tap or untap target creature. So again, it's the colors of Xerius. This is what it's trying to do. Uh, nice. I like it because of the flying vigilance. It's quite, quite nice. I really like that. And it is a common slot. So that's pretty good. Sanitation automaton. Okay. That's a vacuum queen and that's automated. Okay, cool. It sucks. So it's a 2-1 construct. It's too generic. It's an artifact creature. When it enters battlefield, you get to surveil. Eh, it's okay. Again, trees downwards. You get to surveil. So maybe in certain decks, it could be okay. Shade Informant is a 4 2 ogre that costs 5. So it trades down way too easily. When it dies, it deals 2 damage to any target, though. And you can disguise it. So you can definitely flip this because the, the way that you can flip, you can flip as at any time. I think you can do um, an instant. Again, with priority and all that included. Um, this could be really good to kill something on the back end and if it's something really big you get to deal two damage otherwise it trades down easily so if you're not using it for that then you're i think losing a little bit on it case of the gateway express another case and and when it enters the battlefield choose target creature you don't control this creature you control deals one damage to that creature that's an interesting way in why to see this effect happen and it is true so it's not that expensive and to solve it three more creatures attack um this turn so that's not bad with boars you can do that so creatures you control get plus one plus zero that's not bad at all um it's a little anthem and it can necessarily i mean it could be flipped not too bad Ooh, the split cards are back float some and jet some it's an instant sorcery split and um, on the simic side on left uh, it mills three cards and you get to investigate okay um not bad and uh, jet some uh each opponent mills three cards then you may cast that a spell from each opponent's graveyard without paying its mana cost. If a spell cast this way, will be put in graveyard exile and instead. I like this just some more than the float some, of course. And uh, but you know there might be some some reason to to use the last side. And yeah, it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. Magnetic snuffler. <laughs> it's cute. It reminds me of the Doctor Who uh, art. Uh, four four that costs five generic. And when it enters the battlefield, return target equipment card from graveyard to the battlefield attached to it. And then when you sacrifice an artifact, you get to put a plus one plus one counter if you have um, a synergy with the clues then this could be pretty okay especially if you use the clues late in the, in the game but otherwise it's not a great there's not a lot of equipment lying around let's just say branch of vitugazi that's a land you tap to on one genera so it then does not enter the battlefield tap i like that can this guy's in when it flips and for three generic you add two mana of any one color until the end of turn you don't lose this mana as steps and phases and so that's very 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 nice i actually like this one um yeah two mana of any one color it is a bit expensive to set up but you know later in the game you just have a 2-2 and um yeah if you need that one specific mana that could be good for for mana fix and so definitely something that's interesting that's an interesting way of doing that i did not expect it next we have cryptic coat and it costs three it's an artifact equipment that's blue enters the battlefield and look at the top card of your library answer it's cloak the top card of your library then attach cryptic coat to it so to cloak a card you put it onto battlefield face down and it has board and all that and so two two turn the face up with its mana cost if it's a creature card and a quick creature gets plus one plus zero and cannot be blocked and if for two you return it the cloak to its owner's hand this could be really 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 strong especially because you get to basically look at the top card if as a spell it's it's dead i don't believe you can flip it uh, but if it's not if it's a land for example or if it's a creature then it just becomes itself by paying the mana cost which is really really good and you get to flip it so instead of paying those extreme mana costs you can just flip it for the mana cost itself which is great so it could be good in the right deck oh that's a cute animation that's uh, uh, i should say the the shininess looks good good the animation we're not in a computer but come on it's an airtight alibi and it costs three it's an enchantment or it has flash and you can chat a creature and 
and when answers the battlefield, untap the enchanted creature, it gains X proof until the end of turn. If it's suspected, it's no longer suspected, of course, it's not the airtight ladder by, and the enchanted creature gets plus two plus two and cannot become suspected. This could actually be great one of. I like this effect. Um, just one of though. Oh, and there you go, the mysterious creature. This is the first time we see it. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. Um, yeah, I like the the, the look uh, of the illustration is really well done and it encapsulates very much the theme of what a mysterious creature is you know it's it's sort of like the law-abiding citizen if you know from the new campaign as that okay mark wash phantom once more bubble smuggler ventral creeper now you'll notice that this was a trend in set boosters that is a trend yet again in um, play boosters where a lot of the same cards in the common slots and the uncommon slots if you see them they're coming close together so this is something that we noticed in the past videos too and again smelling gorehound so up until now it has been the same as i think shock makes a great return i don't know that i mind this um illustration i'm still a sucker for the original one but shock deals to damage to any targets an instant very 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 good dog walker a 3-1 that trains down or up depending on <laughs> the situation and this boris has vigilance in disguise and when it's turned face up create two tapped one one white dog creature tokens effectively activating the if you've attacked through with three creatures at the same time this turn demand answers it's an instant you tap two and one is red and as initial cost to cast a spell you sacrifice an artifact or discard a card you draw two cards very very nice um yeah it's the same you know uh, rummage effect um kind of it can be good it can replace itself uh, and in red if you don't have any pairs to allow you to get through the deck that could be a good one if not meh they went this way cost three it's a source social library for basic one card put it onto the battlefield tap then shuffle and investigate very nice i actually like it and it helps you get through your deck quicker and to mana fix yourself land fix rune brand juggler so two two that costs two i love that and when it enters the battlefield and uh, suspect up to one target creature you control so making it a menace creature that's always very strong and uh, yeah i mean it's not a bad idea in Arachnids, it can be really annoying and then for five sacrifice a suspected creature so it could just be the, the little one for example target creature gets minus five minus five so yeah very very strong overall curious inquiry costs one blue it's an enchantment and uh, an aura enchants a creature and the creature gets plus one plus one has whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player you get to investigate very interesting very interesting indeed um it does not have flash so i think that kind of draws it back so it's a one for one ish i think it could be really good it's not the same as the enchantment from the excellent set where you if you dealt damage you could draw a card which was much much stronger forensic researcher it's a one three that costs three merfolk detective tap to untap another target permanent control that could be really strong in the right deck and then tap to collect three evidence and tap target creature you do not control that could be annoying for sure then we get a Vicious interrogation. So this is Azorius. It's instant. This spell costs Azorius more to cast for each target beyond the first. Choose any target of players and investigate X times or X is the total number of creatures those players control. Um, more of a commander card. It's not bad. You can investigate for two, but other than that, you know, commander card. Ooh, that is a beautiful showcase card. Murder oil. Very, very gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. I like this one. This is not the dossier. This is the magnifying lens. Uh, oh, and we also get the Ecumenopolis um, full art land. That's very nice. And then a new token. Very, very cool. Okay, on we go. Like the set so far. I've never played Clue. So we will be unboxing every single product and the suspension and review. And then including the commander decks. So if you want to uh, stick around, then there you go. But it's really, really nice because I think they've encapsulated very much the theme. I think the teams behind expansions, they do such an amazing job and you know this beautiful hobby of ours gets a lot of hate from you know the, because of the higher up 
reps and the, the marketing people and the, the CEOs and the directors and all that. But the team behind it really do such a great job at encapsulating the themes of an expansion. And I, I, I just love it. Due diligence. It's an or it costs three. It's white. When it enters the battlefield, target creature you control other than the enchanted creature gets plus two plus two and gains vigilance until the end of turn. And the enchanted creature gets also vigilance and plus two plus two. That is very interesting. It can be really groundbreaking if it's um, later in the game. It can really make your your turn. Then we get Projector Inspector. <laughs> That's cool, Projector Inspector. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I wish they had had uh, Inspector Gadget tie-in in this set. That would have been so cool. Uh, there you go. 3-2 Prospector Inspector is a um, human detective that costs 3, 1 in, or um, another detective enters the battlefield, so as we were saying earlier. Under your control, and whenever a detective you control is turned face up, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Very, very, very good to get through your deck if you build it right. Loxodon Eavesdropper is a 3-3. Three, three. I love the illustration, by the way. <laughs> the, <laughs> the dropping is not, you know, yeah, it drops the eaves. It's kind of uh, non-inconspicuous. It's a 3-3 three, three that costs 4. And it's a battlefield you get to investigate. And when you draw your second card each turn, it gets plus 1, plus 1 in Vigilance until the end of turn. Quite, quite good in the right deck. Macabre, macabre Reconstruction. It costs 4. It's Black Sorcery. Spell costs 2 Generic Lives to cast if a creature card was put in the graveyard from anywhere this turn. Remember, it's Sorcery, though. Turn up to 2 targets get creature cards from your graveyard to your hand to hand uh, can be annoying if done correctly but yeah dramatic accusation okay so this is a beautiful magnifying lens showcase version and um the, is this is a spotlight yeah so it looks like it's a story spotlight for sure so it costs three and whenever it enters battlefield you tap an enchanted creature it doesn't untap during its control and stops untap step and for two you shuffle the enchanted creature into its owner's library i really like this because it doesn't give it any stun counter so it stays stopped and and if it's going to be, uh, well, <laughs> this is going to be removed in any way, shape or form, then you just get to annoyingly put it back into their owner's deck. So that's really, really good. On the job, it's an instant cost four. Creature control, get plus two, plus one until the end of turn and you investigate. Ah, could be an alpha strike, could also be annoying. Escape tunnel, killer among us costs five. It's green and enchantment. Whenever killer among us enters the battlefield, you create a one, one human white creature token, a blue merfolk. 1-1 one, one, and a 1-1 one, one red goblin then you choose secretly uh, which one you want out of these three and then you can sacrifice this reveal the chosen creature type if the target attacking creature token is of the chosen type you put three plus one plus one counters so that is interesting and Irene I can see this easily happening in game I think you'd have to have pen and paper and write it down and then you know keep it face down so that the opponent don't know uh, because otherwise you know it's really easy to cheat um, then we have hustle and bustle a split card in instant and sorcery and the left side for is it you or any one of the is it colors i should say it costs only one target creature attacks or blocks this turn if able mm -hmm. okay and then for boss is six target uh, no creatures you control get plus plus one trample until the end of turn that is a very good alpha strike for late end game uh you may turn a creature you control face up very very good i think the bustle is much much stronger than the hustle neighborhood Good Guardian. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful illustration. It reminds me of the way that animes were done a long while ago. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It costs 2 and it's white. Creature Unicorn. Whenever another creature with power 2 or less enters the battlefield you control, target creature control gets plus 1, plus 1 until the end of turn. can be really, really annoying in this expansion. Furtive Courier is a 3-2 Merfolk Advisor. costs 3 and with a blue, so it trades down. can be blocked as long as you sacrifice an artifact this turn. If you build it correctly, this could be really annoying and when it attacks draw a card then it's card card so if you build a deck around this i'm so freaking lonely otherwise it's just uh, likely to um, trade downwards treacherous greed the illustration is really creepy sorry i'm just mesmerized by the illustration because the arm i just don't understand how it's supposed to go but anyway it's swords of as an initial cost to cast a spell sacrifice a creature that dealt damage this turn eh? draw three cards each opponent loses three life you gain three life eh, i don't think it's a limited card rift burst hellion i mean it's, it could be decent in, in commander for sure uh, rift burst hellion uh, it is a six seven that costs seven grew in the cost and you can disguise it for six uh, with either of the group uh, double pips and has reach so it could be good 
uh, end game finisher uh, for sure and that's foil so we'll put it right here and then we get a clue and then a land not bad not bad not bad so yeah so far i like this expansion a lot i love the theme and i like the whole thing that they did in the marketing wise where they're trying to solve the case and i think that was really really cool and new so they definitely don't get stale museum night watch is a three two center soldier it costs four when it, when it dies create a two two white and blue detective creature token trace itself that's very good and you can disguise it so you can kill something bigger yeah i like this uh, i like a card that replaces itself gear being your orangutan it's a 2-2 two -two ape and cost three it's red has reached when it's battlefield you choose one destroy up to one target artifact or sacrifice an artifact if you do you put pl two plus one plus one counters on it making it a four four very very strong very, very strong and the choice is quite good Vantic criminologists and this is a four five merfolk wizard cost five is blue when it is a battlefield or attacks him with sacrifice an artifact if you drew draw a card uh, it's okay it's okay topiary panther okay six farm it costs six trample and it has land cycling basic land cycling this is really good i like these cards i love the land cycling cards i love that they brought them back i like them a lot quite in um the lord of the rings expansion felonious rage it's a red instant uh, that in target creature you control gets plus plus zero gains haste until the end of turn whenever target creature dies this turn create a two two white and blue detective creature token again it's okay it's a cool combat trick um maybe people don't really play around it but it, it's it's not bad i'd rather have a galvanize that's for sure galvanize is an instance red cost two deal three damage to target creature but if you've drawn two or more cards this turn it deals five damage to that creature instead and of course it's easy with the clues so that is quite quite a good card green and gear drake that we saw earlier now in the normal version and then living conundrums a two five elemental cost five it's blue has hex proof if you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it keep that draw instead okay as long as there are no cards in your library it has base power and toughness 10 10 and flying and vigilance uh, this is more of a commander card though being able to deck yourself unlimited might not be so easily achieved it, but for commander it might be an interesting card aftermath analyst is a one three elf detective it costs two is green when it says battlefield you mill three cards and then you sack it by tapping four and return all land cards from greer to the battlefield tapped uh, again this is more for um commander or for um constructed now we get to the good part commercial districts these are the dual lands the surveillance the that are new to this expansion and i love it mainly because not only do they surveil which i think is much stronger than scrying but also the fact that they are mountain and forest so you can fetch them with their respect types so that's really really nice i wonder how many you can get per box i'm gonna keep one aside hiding plain sight oh double rare it's a sorcery it costs four it's green look at the top five cards in the library clock two of them and put the rest on the bottom of the library and random order could be okay if you if you want to get through your deck otherwise it could be just a way it's very much depending on what you have on top sorry we already saw it and it's what oh modern horizons two card that's nice okay so here we have the combined chrysalis that's nice that's an uncommon i love the idea of the list so much oh and then foil forest and then we have here what is this trostani tree whispers this must be the dossier version i would reckon but i might be completely wrong anywho let's see what do we continue getting here Okay, Rock Farm Mortipede. Oh my god, that is a creepy thing. You would not want to see that in the dark at night at all or ever. Three, four, and instead it costs four. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, it uh, gets plus one plus zero and gets menace and lifeling until the end of turn. Uh, you have to build around, um, you know, the evidence and collecting removal, so it might not be as great. Season Consultant, if you build around it, then it's fine. Uh, season Consultant, Human Detector is a one, three, costs two. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, it gets plus one, plus two, plus zero till the end of turn. I think this is actually could be a fairly annoying creature for early in game. Sorry. Um, Rubble Belt Braggart. It's a five five Viashino warrior um, or Viashino. I don't, I don't remember how you spell this uh, or pronounce it. It was ages ago. And uh, it's five. It's red. And when it attacks, if it's not suspected, you may suspect it. It's okay. If you need the top ender, that's pretty, pretty good. And again, I, I it's absurd that now nowadays it's something like this it's just okay rubber belt maverick one one human detect 
objective that costs one green. When it enters the battlefield, you surveil two. That could be good. Number one, you exile from Gray, put a plus one plus one card on target with your control, and you activate it as a sorcery. So it replaces itself. You can enable some surveil uh, um, shenanigans and evidence shenanigans. Not bad. Unauthorized access, buy down on crime, <laughs> literally. Sorcery, it costs four. It's green. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may collect six evidence. This spell costs two genetic glass to cast if evidence was collected, making the cost only two. Target creature you control gets plus two plus zero until the end of turn. It deals damage equal to its power. Target creature you do not control. Can be a good fight spell. I now I know where it's going. Thinking cap. First equipment we see. I mean, I like it. Sherlock Holmes. Artifact equipment and it costs one generic and equips for three generic. And But if it's an equi a, a detective, it costs only one generic and it gets plus one plus two. The red deck could be annoying. Um, Harry Dronesmith is a 2-3 human artificer. It costs four. It's red and at the beginning of a combat on your turn, you get to create a 1-1 one, one Corolla Stopper artifact creature token with flying. It gains haste until the end of turn. Sacrifice it at the beginning of your next hand step. So yeah, there are some synergies with this for sure. If you sacrifice artifacts and all that, and having an extra um, softer in play can be really, really annoying. So I really like this in general. Okay, so next up we have Pompous Gadabout. It's a 4-2 human citizen that costs three. So it trades upwards and also trades downwards. It has hex proof as long as it's your turn. Can't be blocked by creatures that don't have a name, meaning a mysterious creature so it's okay it's better than i thought because for sure but it, it, you know you won't be able to trade it as easily but it's still there are a lot of creatures that can easily kill it um yeah i would say use it more as a you know kill something bigger than anything else um unless you know just have a clear line of sight to your opponent's face lumbering laundry <laughs> Really? They mean, okay, I mean, that somebody uh, really didn't do their laundry for a long time. Four or five go and it costs five generic. It's an artifact creature. And for two generic, until the end of turn, you may look at a face down creatures you do not control at any time. And you can disguise it for five. Can be okay. And this, I don't know how the meta for this expansion is, but could be okay. It's definitely not something that is groundbreaking. And the disguise part is fairly expensive. So, yeah. Case of the locked hot house. It costs four, it's green. Uh, you may play additional land each of your turns. That could be really good, but by turn four, unless you're playing some huge beast, you should have an okay time with mana. To solve, you control seven or more lands. Again, that's very late game. Solved, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play lands and cast creatures and enchantment spells from the top of your library. In the right deck, this could be absolute blast. Ooh, Anzrak the Quake Mo is an 8-4 Mole God. And I Again, I'm struggling to understand um, what is that? Is that his tail? Is it? I don't know. Anyway, he's a mole god and it's gruel. It costs four, made four. So that's really good. And when it be becomes blocked and tap each creature you control after its combat phase, there is an additional combat phase. And then four will be seven with double gruel. It must be blocked each combat this turn if able. So if you can give it indestructible somehow or you can buff it a little bit more, this could be a way to just topple your opponent otherwise yeah it can easily trade down but it's still a very very dangerous thing because you get another uh, combat turn if they do block it so that's that's really really good combat fees i should say okay case of the shattered pact it's a colorless case and it costs two generic when this case enters the battlefield search your library for a basic land card reveal it put it into your hand then shuffle nice then solve there are five more calls among permanents you control uh, that's going to be hard in limited but in the other constructed decks it might be good it's solved at the beginning of your combat in your turn target creature you control gains flying double strike and vigilance until the end of turn you know what i could see some maybe in standard i don't know in pioneer but i could see some decks running four of these and if you have the the ability to to do all colors because there are decks in pioneer for example that do that then this could be really really good of course it slows you down significantly so i don't know if you could actually count count it as oh my god groundbreaking but it definitely could be fun and then a mountain full art and oh yay we get the counters with the counter i was looking for this one it's a suspected case solved stun counter plus one plus one unlock poison minus one minus one fine case solved and suspected again that's very very 
very nice. Okay, on we go. We're almost done with the first third, and slowly, slowly, we're getting through the main bulk. As you'll see, it will start picking up speed. But as we said, we take our time in these unboxings because we want to make sure to enjoy the expansion and give you our opinion on the cars and how good they are. Toxin analysis in instant is black, cost one, target gains, death touch, and lifing until the end of turn, and then you get to investigate. That's actually pretty powerful for so little, and it's an instant, so they won't see you coming a mile away necessarily. Um, yeah, can be pretty good to kill something. Jaded Analyst is a 3-2 human detective that costs two, has defender. That's good, it can trade upwards. You may draw, uh, whenever you draw your second card each turn, so no clues, it loses defender against vigilance until the end of turn. Wow, that, that could be good in the right deck. Novice Inspector once more. Red Herring, of course. <laughs> oh my God. 2-2 two, two, that costs two, it's red. And it's an artifact, has haste, and attacks each cobble, combat if able. And then for two, you can sack it to draw a card. And to two for two haster, it's okay. And you you must attack with it each combat. It's it's a bit of a drawback, but if you have a, an extra, you can replace itself for a card. It can be okay. Nervous Gardener is a two two with this guy's one, and it costs two, and it's green. When it's turn face up, social library for a basic land. Put it in your hand and shuffle. So it doesn't allow you to put it in play. Otherwise, it'd be very very strong, but it's still pretty good. Uh, extract the confession costs two. Sorcery you can. Um, collect six evidence and on top of it and opponent sacrifices a creature if evidence was collected instead each opponent has sacrifices the creature with the greatest power so that's very very annoying um then we get the hellion once more behind the mask so this is one blue it's an instant as initial cost you get to collect evidence six until the end of turn take a creature or artifact becomes creature artifact with base power toughness four three if evidence was collected instead it has base power toughness one one until the end of turn instead so it could be a combat trick uh, either way. It's okay. It depends on how the, the the games go. I think maybe one all in the right deck. Burner proof costs two. It's an enchantment aura and it is blue. Has flash, so that's always good. And it enchants a creature and the creature gets plus two plus two as long as it's detective control. Otherwise, if it has beast power or toughness one one, it cannot block detective. So it's a pacify, I guess, with flash. Not bad actually. Um, and if you run a detective, you can always. Uh, it, it's a double use pacify so that's not bad polygraph orb it costs five and it's black it's an artifact when it is a battlefield and get to look at the top four cards of your library you put two of them in your hand the rest into your graveyard you lose two life okay and for two generic you tap collect evidence three each opponent loses three life then when, unless they discard a card or sacrifice a creature it's a lot a lot of setup it's a lot of mana being used a lot of it i don't know that i like this so much sudden setback it's an instant and cost four with two blue pips the owner of target spell or no man permanent puts it on the top also it's a bounce kind of to the top or bottom but it's four it's a bit expensive assassin's trophy makes a return that's great i really 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 like this card and of course it's very uh, it's a very good gold guard card for commander but in general just overall destroy target permanent and important controls and they get to search their library for a basic land card put it into the battlefield and then shuffle so yep very very good card and i love this and then we have break up foil so it costs gruel a sorcery look at the top six cards of the library you may reveal a creature card from among them if that card has mana value two or less you may put it onto the battlefield and against haste until the end of turn if you didn't put the reveal card on the battlefield this way you put it into your hand put the rest on the bottom of the library in a random order a uh, very very too many things it's if 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 uh not not that great to to do what it's supposed to do so it's a bit too meh for me and a swamp and a clue. I'm going to uh, should maybe give me a sec. Put the R card separately here. There you go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The breakout card is not not so great. Um, okay. Snarling Gorehound. Person of interest. It's a two-two that costs four. Human rogue. When it's battlefield, you suspect it. That's good. And then you create a two-two um, replacer. Okay. White and blue detective token. I like this. I like the cards that replace themselves. Phantom. How cold. Cost four. It's an instant. And it's blue. This spell can't be 
be countered. That's great. Tap up to two target creatures and place some counter on each of them and investigate. That can be really, really strong in the right deck. Fairy Snoop, 1 4. And yes, the mirror costs 3 and it's flying. You can disguise it for any of the mirror card costs. And then when it's turned face up, you look at the top two cards of the library, put them on one of them in your hand, the other one in your graveyard. Yeah, could be annoying. It's a 1 4 flying. You can definitely do something with it. And even if you don't flip it around, which is good for late game, uh, you just play like that. It can be a, an annoying wall to get through early in the game. Thinking Cap, mm, Sanguine Savior. That's a 2 1 Vampire Cleric. That is Orzo. It costs 3 Flying Disguise it. And Life Blink. Wow. And when it's turned face up, another target creature control gains Life Link until the end of turn. Very, very good. And it can play it uh, non disguise and so get value out of it. Greenbelt Radicals, a 4 4 that costs 4. It's blue. Center Citizen. This guy's a 4 7. And when it is turned face up, you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature you control. Teaches you control game trouble. So it's an alpha strike for green. Okay, it could be right in the right decks. Ooh, Lightning Helix makes a turn. Nice to see it. I got a couple of them in the Ravnica Remaster. So that's nice. That's the third one. Oh, how? Concealed Weapon. Okay, costs two. And it's red. A quick creature gets plus 2 plus 0. And you can disguise it, of course, because it's a concealed weapon. And when it's turned face up, attach it to like a creature you control. Okay, that's cool. I, I, I see what they're going for. I think it might be a bit too much for killing just another creature. But for doing damage in the right approach, it could be good. Festival Leech is one one that costs one, uh, and when it deals uh, combat damage to a player, you mill you mill two cards, and then for two, it gets plus two plus two until the end of turn. Activate only once each turn. Meh, it's good for the activation, I guess. Oh, Axe Pain Ferox. It's a four four that costs four. It has Death Touch Haste. Ward collects evidence for. Yeah, that's strong. It needs to be dealt with right away, or will just destroy um, your your opponent. You see, I'm not watching for. Oh, very nice. And then end of planes. And oh, what is this? Oh, thundering falls on one of the lands. Beautiful indeed. Okay, on once and of course, as usual. Here we go. Here we have repeat offender as a two-one human assassin. It costs two. It's black. And of course, that's the face of the offender. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool, I guess. And uh, for three, if if it's suspected, you plus one plus one counter on it. Otherwise, you suspect it. Uh, yeah, okay. It's it can be destroyed too easily. Reason down it's a blue instant it costs two counter target spell unless you control the capace too that's always annoying suspect up to one target creature uh, yeah i mean you get to do so many more things nowadays but yeah um, counter unless they pay two that's not bad in the right deck make your move instant cost three destroy target artifact enchantment or creature power four or greater if you don't have any removal that is one at least to grab goblin mask makers a one two goblin citizen cost one that's always good and when it attacks face down spells you cast this turn costs one generic blast to cast Wow, that could be good, good. Murder comes back. Very nice. And Chase is on. Cost three. And it's red. It's an instant. Take a creature. Gets plus two plus zero and gains for a strike until the end of the turn. Investigate. It, they'll see it coming a mile away if you always keep the three open. So it's not the greatest, but it could be annoying in the right time. Uh, Sanguine Savior. Uh, deadly Complication. Okay. This is a sorcery. Cost three with Ragdos. Choose one or both. Destroy target creature. Very good for that cost. Or put a plus one plus one counter on target. Uh, suspected creature you control you may have it become no longer the suspect that is really cool i like that actually insidious roots that's nice it's a golgarian shaman the day i was noting on how beautiful this is because you can see the the landscape of the city with these roots around it that's very poetic Um, so you know, creature tokens you control have tap to add one man of any color okay so very specific to a token deck and whenever one or more creature card leaves your graveyard you get to create a zero one token and put a plus one plus one card on each plan you control so in the right deck this can spiral out of control insanely fast crime novel is a one three goblin bar it costs three and it's red when i sacrifice an artifact you have to put a plus one plus one counter on it and add one red mana that is very strong presume that it's an instant it costs two uh, until the end of turn target creature gets plus plus zero and gains when this creature dies return the battlefield under its owner's control and suspected that's very good because you can also do it on the um face down cards so then it just <laughs> flips 
so around basically. Plus platter analysis, it costs rack dots and enchantment, and it's his battlefield and deals three damage to target like creature and poor controls, so that's pretty good. And whenever one or more creature die, um, mill a card and put a plus the blood stink counter on blood splatter analysis, then sacrifice it if it has five or more. And when you do return target creature card from greater to your hand, it's not bad. So it's an enchantment that deals damage and eventually allows you to get some cards back. So that's pretty pretty nice. Um, deadly complication and island and a nip mizzet, I would reckon. Yes, very cool synergies and very cool mechanics. I must say it's it's pretty fun. I think uh, Sky and I both agree that it's really really fun. So this is airtight albine. Oh, Ali Assailant. That guy looks really creepy. So it's a 3 3 that costs 3. Great. Answers Battlefield Tap. Not great. This guy's a 4 6. Ooh. And when it turns face up, it's target opponent loses 3 life. You gain 3 life. Um, there are better cards. Hotshot Investigators. 4 4 that costs 6. It's blue. With Alkin Detective. When it enters the battlefield, it return up to one other creature to its owner's hand. If you controlled it, you get to investigate. Ah! one off might be right griff not tracker three two detective because four is flying we love that and when it's the battlefield is up to two target cards from a single graveyard yep that's pretty nice deduce draw card investigate for only two very nice that's a very very nice uh, card gadget technician is a three two goblin artificer costs four with this and it costs when it enters the battlefield or it's turned face up you create a thopter and it stays in, in the battlefield so i really like that one more than yet long goodbye the spell cannot be countered it costs two destroy target creature of planes walk with mana value three or less very very nice and the current thing oh a rope okay you can equip a rope that's green it gets plus two plus one plus two uh the creature is equipped and has reach and cannot be blocked by more than one creature ah this could be really annoying and for two you sack it to draw a card okay that could be really annoying oh no more lies this is the beautiful beautiful card that you'll see in the control decks azurus control decks um in pioneer very very beautiful card it's Azurius to cast. It's an instant counter target spell unless it's control plays three. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Very, very strong card. I love that. Aurelia, the law above. 4 4 Angel for Boros and three generic flying. Visual and haste. Insanely good. Whenever a player attacks with three or more creatures, you draw a card. Very, very good. And whenever a player attacks with five or more creatures, a player can be your opponent. This card uh, deals three damage to each of your opponents you gain through life yeah that's just broken good um very very good very good card um and it's rare that that's insane illicit masquerade it costs four it's black it's an enchantment you flash it enters the battlefield you put imposter counter on each creature you control whenever creature you control with imposter counter dies exile and return up to one target creature car from giver to the battlefield ah, could be okay car control warden well that's beautiful and a mountain and a clue okay right right two more of the of the first first part i, I did take one uh, or two i think from the other ones as well so i apologize for that um offender large five four giant rogues cross five disguise it for five and when it's the battlefield or as soon as face up up to one target creature gets plus two plus zero until the end of turn it's okay agency coroner three six four five okay can be annoying sack another creature for th and three draw a card if the sacrifice creature was suspected you draw two cards instead oh okay i mean it could be good to slowly get back your um, some some drawing late in game uh but i think the the fact that it's a three six is the more annoying part cold case cracker okay three three detective cost four has flying and it's blue and when it does you investigate i like that slime against humanity the, the play on word here is is real the, the dad jokes are real here a uh, sorcery it costs a three and a one and green whenever you get to create a zero zero green ooze, uh token then you put x plus one plus one counters on it where x is two plus the total number of cards you own in excel in your graveyard that are oozes and our name slam against humanity a deck can have any number of these cards that's a cute cute one. Ooh, wow that is a beautiful one issue binding well it's an enchantment cost three it's white whenever it's a battlefield it's a target creature or important controls until it is the battlefield and you gain two life okay that's good in limited auspicious arrival and uh, is an instant it costs two and target creature gets plus two plus two until the end of turn and you investigate oops not a bad combo trick but they are better wisp drinker vampire is a two four vampire rogue cost four with ores of has flying and whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield in your control each opponent loses a life you gain a life and then for seven creatures you control with power two or less gain death touch and life until the end of turn eh, 
that. Not bad in the right synergies, I can tell you that case. And then another case, this is of the, the Trample Garden. Uh, we've not seen this one before, it's green. It costs three. When this case enters the battlefield, you distribute two plus one plus one counters amongst the creatures you control. And then to solve creatures you control, have to have power grade eight or greater. And then uh, whenever you attack, put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature gains Trample until the end of turn. Can be definitely good with green, definitely. Break out. Let's see Masquerade. Has the Vigilante, the Planes, and the Spider. Now, it could be good in the right deck, for sure. Okay, we're getting there. Inside Source. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one that costs 3. As a human citizen, when it enters his battlefield, we create a uh, 2-2 two, two white blue detective creature token. Okay, so you get to have 3 power and toughness on the on the battlefield. And for 3, generic top. Target detective you control gets plus 2 plus. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. Gazi. Cerebral Confiscation. It costs 3 as a source. Your target opponent discards two cards. Can be really annoying later in the game. Target opponent reveals their hand and choose a non-line card from it. That player just has a card. So it's 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 pretty annoying duress, I think. Um, could be could be really nice. Rakish Crown Roll is a 3-3 three, three elf rogue that costs four with Golgari. Death touch. When it enters battlefield or is turned up, target creature gains is indestructible until the end of turn. And uh, you can uh disguise it for six. Okay, could be good. Yeah, definitely in the right deck could be good. Gristone Strider. That's a one three that costs two generic artifact creature one get nets you a, a man of any color but you can only do it once each turn and then for two exile it from graveyard to exile target card from graveyard this is a very much a tool that you need only in specific decks otherwise it's not that great magnifying glass okay it's an artifact cost three generic that's uh you get to investigate over and over basically that's not bad i guess um under city eliminator is a three three that it costs five with two black pips and when it enters the battlefield you may sacrifice an artifact or creature when you do excel target creature and opponent controls okay that that's not bad at all fifth light with kellen cost two is blue and shaman are a flash enchanted creature and when uh, it enters battlefield enchanted creature gains hexproof until the end of turn so it protects it and on top of that it gets plus one plus zero and flying i like that that is a good combo for agency outfitter four three that costs six with two blue pips flying when it enters the battlefield you must search your library for a uh, graveyard and hand or library for card name magnifying glass which we saw here right here and the thing you got which we saw earlier and put them on the battlefield if you do search your library and yeah, no not great and limited oh hedge maze that's beautiful Beautiful Simic land right there. Audience with Trostani. It costs three. Sorcery. You get to create a um, zero one green plant creature token, then draw cards equal to the number of different name creature tokens you control. Yeah. Ooh, a foil, no more lies. Oh, that is gorgeous right there. That is beautiful. That is, I think, worth more than the audience. And then a foil mountain full art. And then how's this one? A redemption arc signed by Mayor. That's beautiful. Okay, that was a nice one. Okay, look. Let's go on. No, no, no. We'll be done with the first third now. Okay, okay. Let's keep it under. Yeah, we're starting to see a lot more of the same cards. Slice from the shadows. It's an instant. The spell cannot be countered. And it costs X and one black. Tiger creature gets minus X minus X until the end of turn. Very good at removal. It gets around a couple of things as well. Demanding answers. We've seen it. We've just not seen it in this. Then we have some sentries. A 1 3 reacher. It costs um, Selesnia. And then um, you reach uh, whenever fist down. Permanent you control this turn face up. You put a plus one plus one counter on it and on count. Oh, one damn, that's strong. Night drinker Muroi 4 2 vampire costs four. That disguises for two. A hands flying when it's the battlefield, you lose three life. Can trade down easily, but if they don't have any flyers, this could be really, really annoying. It's just that it's a lot of cost the three life on top of how easily it can be killed by a shock, for example. And we have a lead pipe and it's a clue equipment. It costs one black and when the equipment creature gets plus two plus zero equips for two generic whenever equipped creature dies you should want to lose is one life and then you can sack it to draw a card okay yeah that's not bad i guess uh, it can be really annoying to play against but yeah corvid haunt another equipment equips for two generic it's white equip creature gets plus two plus zero and then for two generic and sack it you gain three life because it's a food of course and when it is put into graveyard from battlefield you may pay two and if you do you get to create a dog creature <laughs> okay not bad Hansrak's Rampage is a 
five sorcery and it's two red pips and destroy all artifacts you do not control then exile the top x cards of the library where the number of artifacts that were put into graveyards from the battlefield this turn so let's say two for now when i put creature card exile this way onto the battlefield you gain says return it to your hand at the beginning of your end step um again because you don't know what's going to be on the top of your library this is a very big gamble so uh yeah play accordingly and then ooh, world leaders call creatures control get plus one plus one and cost one generic and more earths and then whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control it deals one damage to each opponent ah can be really annoying and then we get a forest and oh yeah and stop yeah i think that's totally mirrors wolf it could be really annoying yeah. it's an anthem it's not that expensive in the right deck oh tunnel tipster it's a one one mole scout and it's so adorable i love it costs two and it's green at the beginning of your hand step if a phase down creature enters the battlefield and you control this turn you put a plus one plus one counter on it very strong and then you can tap and add one green very 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 strong very strong basilica soccer three four vampire it costs six and it's black and it's a detective as well has flying deals combat damage to a player you gain a life you surveil one and then you can disguise it fairly expensive for what it's trying to do um, yeah overall yeah there must be better fanatical strength it gets plus three plus three and trample until the end of turn i think we've seen that one before leering on looker one three vampire it costs two house flying for two generic and two black pips you exile it from your graveyard you create two tapped one one black bat creature token with flying it places itself um i like it I like a chalk outline enchantment it costs four as green whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard you create a 2-2 two -two white blue detective creature token and then investigate in the red deck this could be annoying persuasive interrogators of five six that cost six with two black pips when it enters the battlefield you investigate and when you sacrifice a clue take your opponent gets two poison counters now this in the right deck with a poison two poison counters are really quick do that five times wow yeah you won the game tensory gossip four four that costs four it's gruel has vision that's really really good and then tap to add a uh, gruel spend this one only to cast phase on spells to uh, or to turn wow that's really really cool oh wow we have a mythic and a dossier it's a six six that costs six with two red pips incinerator of the guilty it's a dragon flying trample whenever it deals combat damage to a player you may collect evidence x so let's say five what you do it deals five damage to each or x damage to each creature planeswalker that plays controls wow that is insanely strong wow that is good good card right there harry drone smith foil yeah that is a good one definitely insanely good that if this not doubt the turn that it comes into play um or you know the the one after soon after and then when it's your turn then yeah you you won <laughs> basically i don't think there's any other way of of looking at a card oh col culvert i'm be sure okay so this is the dossier version of it i want to i'll keep you here just to be organized eliminate the impossible instant instant you investigate and it costs two and it's blue uh creatures your opponent control get minus two minus zero until you know turn that can be really annoying if any of them are suspected they are no longer suspected yeah that could be really annoying um a sense of antiquity it's a 110 it costs five you can disguise it so that's a huge blocker and when it is turned face up the creatures you control gain high spur until you turn and on top of that's pretty good because it's a 110 it's yeah okay it can be destroyed because it's an artifact but it's a 110 clandestine meddler it's a 3-2 vampire rogue cost three it's black when it's just battlefield suspect up to one other target creature you control and when one or more suspected creatures you control attack he gets to surveil one yep this could be good oh tulsa mirror there he is and it's a 3-2 this time the midnight's light okay so it's of course selesnia and it costs five has life link when it enters the battlefield you create voya fan stalker the world that we saw earlier which is a 5-5 five, five green and white wolf creature token with trample and when a wolf you control attacks if the creature attacked as well target creature on opponent control blocks that wolf this combat if able okay that can be really annoying and very strong uh -huh. the benthic and foil i shall put it there and then a forest and a mystery creature whoa mysterious okie dokie so we'll get in there we'll get in there for sure yeah i'm i'm, I'm really liking this set now oh, private eye that's a very on the nose card it's a 3-3 three, three human collide detective and it costs three with azurus in the cost other things you control get plus one plus one so that's the staple for the azure caller and um, whenever you draw your second card this turn target detective can't be blocked this turn very synergistic and of course you would want to build around get leg up it's an instant it's green until the end of the turn target creature gets plus one plus one for each creature you control and gains reach 
a very good combat trick. I think this is going to be annoying. Of course, if you keep one green up all the time, then it's kind of obvious that you have it. Vengeful Tracker. <clears throat> this is a 2-2 that costs two. Human Detective is red whenever an opponent sacrifices an artifact and deals two damage to them. Oh, this can shut down a lot of decks. And then we get Elegant Parlor. So this is the Boros uh, Surveil Land. So that's very nice. We have Analyze the Pollen. Very nice card. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may collect eight evidence as a sorcery. It only costs one green and search a li library for busy line card. If you collect it instead, search a library for a creature or a land card. If you let card put it in your hand and shuffle. So if you have a really good creature, then it makes sense to go for that one. Escape tunnel on foil and then a swampy swamp and a cluey clue. Okie dokie. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What do we got next? All right, we'll start skipping through. Oh, that's a nice version of unauthorized exit. And through the commons, as we see most of them. The Hedge Whisper, uh, we've not seen it. It's an elf druid detective, it's a zero three, it's a one green, and you may choose not to untap it. And then for four and tap it, you collect four evidence and you transform a land into a five, five plant boar green uh, with haste. Wow, that, and it's still a land, very, very good. Very good card, I like it. Convenient target, Charming Aura, does not have flash, it enters the battlefield, suspect the enchanted creature, it gets plus one, plus one, and then you can return it from the graveyard to your hand. This enchantment, oh, no ban. Then we have Scene of the Crime, and Scene of the Crime enters the battlefield tap, you can tap to one generic, and then tap an untap creature for one mana of any color, and then sack it to draw a card. Eh, they are better, I think, but it's not bad. <laughs> you get a candle stick, of course. <laughs> I mean, you had the pipe and the rope, so you gotta have the candle stick now, right? And uh, this is an artifact clue equipment is blue and it costs only one. Equip for two. Equip creature gets plus one plus one and has whenever it attacks you surveil two. Okay, it can be good in certain synergies. And then for two and uh, sack it, you draw a card because it's a clue. And um, yeah, but it's, it, it could be good in the right deck. Wolso's Rage. Sorcery is groove with axe and it deals X damage to any target. You put up to X lines from your hand and or graveyard into battlefield tap. Wow, that could be really, really good. Um, even if you just do it for three that could be really good and these colors because it can definitely ramp you up quite significantly even early you know turn five you do that it's pretty pretty good okay, okay. let's see what do we got here okay all right so let's skip through the commons we see most of them oh repulsive mutation it's an instant it costs x and simic and you uh, put x plus one plus one counters on target creature control then you counter up to one target spell unless this controller pays mana equal to the target's uh, greatest power among creatures that you control Wow, that is a really, really cool card. I think that in the right deck could be really annoying because it does two things at once and yeah, it's great. Perimeter Enforcer is a 1-1 one, one that costs two. It's Human Detective. That's why it has Flying Lifeline. That's always good. And it's just when you control. And whenever you can attack to, uh, you control, it's turned up face up. It gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Yeah, it becomes a 2-2 two, two Flying Life Linker. It can be really good. <laughs> it's a frantic scapegoat. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That is so cool cool i love this illustration a one 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 red it's a goat has haste and whenever it enters the battlefield of course it's a tactic because it's a scapegoat and whenever one or more other creatures enter the battlefield and you control if it's not if it is suspect you may suspect another creature if you do this is basically pass suspect onto another it's okay it's not bad i guess <laughs> that's funny push and pull on the push sign it destroys target tap creature okay as usual it's it's so Sorcery on top of that's very slow. And pull is also a sorcery. Put up to two target creature cards from a single graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. The gain haste until the end of turn. Sacrifice in the beginning of your next 10 step. Yeah, pull is definitely much stronger. I mean, this is the theme of, of them. Archdruid's Charm. This is a scene pioneer play. It costs three green pips and it is an instant you choose one. Search your library for a creature or a land card. Reveal it. Put it on the battlefield tap. It's a land. Otherwise, you put it in your hand and shuffle and then uh, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control and then it deals damage equal to a spire to target creature you do not control and then exile target artifact or enchantment this is more of a constructed uh, card because of the costs the three green preps, pips are going to be hard to play uh, for sure oh wow from onslaught the cross and tusker that uh, brings back very very nice memories and that's our third list slot card that is cool yeah i remember opening onslaught myself i love that the judgment i think it was the judgment 
block i'm not sure you can correct me in the comments down below but yeah i really quite enjoyed that block a lot it was um, a really really good time okay quest to kill that's the first uh, art that we saw charming aura and that costs five with the mirror and it costs and you control entire creature and it has base power and toughness mind one death touch and it's assassin in addition to self types pretty cool you, you get to kill it basically no matter what because it kamikazes itself and then yeah that's nice and it also can go uh, um, alongside the, the prism case uh, and then we have curious inquiry case file auditors one for human detection cost three when it's this battlefield whenever you solve a case you look at the top six cards of the library when you reveal an enchantment card from one then put it in your hand put the rest at the bottom of your library in random order and you may spend mana as though you were mana of any color to cast case spells of course this is the kind of card that you want to have a lot of case spells for oh a mythic conspiracy own raveler that is cool i've seen this card on arena and i it always messes me up because i think it has um, ward or hexproof because of the illustration here anyways a six six that costs seven it's a sphinx detective flying and then you may collect 10 evidence instead of paying the cost uh, mana cost of any spell to cast them so that is can be really really good especially because by that turn you definitely have a lot of evidence one hopes and then the goblin full and and when and on that it's not a bad card it's definitely not um constructed card unless maybe in standard it might be playable um i don't know maybe you 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 could in standard but um i don't know the the standard landscape that well that uh, i can haphazard that but yeah it might be good in that if not it's just decent very good in um certain decks and limited soul innervation costs four and it's black and shaman splash when it enters the battlefield take a creature gets minus four and minus four until the end of turn whenever one or more other creatures uh leave no one or more creatures leave your graveyard each opponent loses a life you gain a life okay that's not bad i like it it has flash speed as well absolutely it can be really really annoying the second one in the right deck carlo washdog is a three two doggy costs four and it's white it has vigilance permanency your opponent's control cannot be turned face up during your turn and whenever you attack with three or more creatures creatures you control get plus one plus one to the end of turn this is very synergistic with some cards that we've already seen so if you have that definitely good man have a snuffler snuffler in the dossier version and then soul search okay this is ors of and sorcery second opponent reveals their hand you choose a non-land card from it it's uh, that card so it's, yeah and if the card's mana value is one or less you create a, okay that's not bad it's not great but it's not bad it's just a double cost that early can be really annoying if you if you don't have just a really good mana pyrotechnic performer the three two via Shino assassin it costs two it's red you can disguise it for one when it or another creature you control turn face um that creature deals damage equal to its power to each opponent wow that that is very very strong keep this alive and it's very very strong uh if you build a round of uh, the analyst and then a mountain and a detective token oh that's the first detective token that we see this is the blue white one very very nice i love the theme of this expansion is so beautiful little slice from the shot is really nice oh another one so that's a curious cadaver we did not see this card yet and it's in the dossier it's a three one zombie detector cost four with the mirror flying when you sack a crew you return it from your girl to your hand wow that can be really really annoying and strong case of the pilfer proof cost two it's white whenever the detective enters battlefield under control and whenever the detective is you control is turned face up but plus one plus one counter on it great great and then the detective deck you if you control three or more detectives which would be using a good detective deck um you solve it and if one or more tokens would be created under your control those tokens plus a clue token are created instead so you get more clue tokens very very synergistic with the right deck absolving lamas lamasu sorry it's a four three lamasu that costs five and it's white it has flying and enters the battlefield all suspected creatures become no longer suspected and when it dies you gain three life in, and so set up to one target creature and opponent controls uh, I, I like the um, the the flying part but that's about it it's really expensive and it just advantages your opponent um, when it does oh shadowy backstreet that's beautiful that's really nice and the hordes of dual land and reenact the crime costs four with three blue pips i'll tag your no land card in a graveyard that was put there 
from anywhere this turn copy it you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost very situational and those pips are not easy to cast detective satchel it's is it and too generic and it's an artifact when it enters the battlefield investigate twice great and then tap create a colorless one one artifact thopter with flying activate only if you sacrifice an artifact this turn wow it can turn those tokens around oh and this is the full art island that is very very beautiful and then a nar card gorgeous gorgeous almost down with the second half here as you're seeing we're speeding up now because we've seen basically a lot of the cards so anyway it's a special is a 2-1 human detector cost 2 is blue can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or uh, 3 or greater which is not necessarily a lot um because yeah you know the phase down cards these guys are, are do have that you can disguise it and for two for its cost and when it's turn face up or turn out another target creature to its owner's hand can be annoying and it's a detective so i can synergize in that deck but otherwise yeah think about it you could trade upwards in this expansion for sure reckless detective is a zero three that costs two it's red and whenever it attacks you may sacrifice an artifact to discard a card so it's, it's a, a sack outlet for example if you do you draw a card and it well you rummage and then you get plus two plus zero that's pretty good in the right deck actually flourishing bloomkin is a plant elemental that is a zero zero that costs two it's green and it gets plus one plus one for each forest you control okay it's tricky with this it, unless you have a mono green it, you're gonna be a three three maybe a four four you can disguise it for five and when it's turn face up social library for up to two forest cards reveal them put one of them in your battlefield tap the other one in your hand and then shuffle so for the other one yeah it can definitely grow for bigger later in the game it's gonna become insanely strong especially because if you've had the misfortune of seeing all of your lands then yeah home inside investigator is a two two human detective it costs two is black whenever one or more non talking creatures you control die you get to investigate and this ability triggers only once it's turn okay it's good it could have been so much better but they limited it so what can we do oh and there you go home inside investigator in a dose here and side by side there you go there you go and then a foil and a landy land and an art card so what do you think about this set so far i think it was such a, a, a an interesting thing because you know hasbro owns the the rights to clue or cluedo and so it was such an interesting choice that they'd gone and built this whole thing around it it was it started as a marketing thing and they they managed to make it into something great bird in the garden as an enchantment aura that enchants the land it costs four with the last name it costs when it enters the battlefield exile target no lamper when you don't control to leaves the battlefield so it's a decent actual prison effect and when a land is tapped for mana it's controller adds an additional mana when you call yeah that's very very good it does two things at once so that's very very strong i like it okay next we have expose the culprit it's an instant and it's red it's just one or both turn target face down creature face up so can be definitely really good for you uh, especially if you have a really expensive one in group for example exile any number of face up creatures you control with these guys in a face down pile then shuffle that pile then cloak them okay that's interesting i would use the first one more often for sure okay so the gorgon's kiss black when this case enters the battlefield destroy up to one target creature that was dealt damage this turn solved three or more creature cards were put in the graveyard anywhere this turn okay not that easy and not that easy solved um this case is a four four creature gorgon with that touch and lifelink well if you manage to do it it's very strong but the first two parts are a bit annoying cryptex as an artifact it costs too generic you tap collect three evidence add one man of any color put an unlock counter on the cryptex and then when you sack it and surveil three then draw three cards and activate only if the cryptex has five or more unlock counters on it hmm, that's okay it's not the greatest of rares oh another foil rare relive the past it costs seven with in the cost is a sorcery return up to one target artifact card up to one target land and up to one like a known orange card from your gear to the battlefield there are five five elemental creatures in addition to the other types this can be really really nasty and the if you if you use it correctly can be so nasty okay last one of the second part second third let's see oh i like the deduce in this one with the magnifying glass or lens version oh and now we get to see the wrench there you go an artifact cool equipment is white you equip it for two quick creature 
gets plus one plus one vigilance and for three generic and tap it tough target creature now that's nasty that is good sanctuary walls a wall it's a zero four card um artifact creature and it costs two for one white one generic and of course it's defender because it's a wall for three tap target creature and tap this you may put a stun counter on the top creature. If you do, you put a stun counter on this. Uh, it's a very complicated way of icy money. So not really great. Oh, we already saw this rare. Tunnel Tipster foiled. I like that card. And then a swamp and an art card. Okay, a few more to go and then we're going to be done. Um, there you go. Let's see what do we have here. Shock and the wonderful, wonderful cards. Get cornered crook as a 5-4 that costs 5 when it says bow field you may sack on oh, no, artifact and when you do it deals three damage to any target now that's great that's really really good sound in limited of course sample collector is a two three troll detector it costs three it's green whenever it attacks you may collect three evidence if you do you put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control very very strong forensic research is a one three merfolk detective that we saw earlier oh commercial district and the borderless version that is beautiful i don't think we have the commercial oh yeah we have the commercial district that was the first surveillance that we got so now you get to see them side by side that is beautiful and very very fortunate oh wow another great pack you'll see this happen in a lot of well the old set boosters so they kept that true for play boosters that the the packs that have the most rares are also the ones or the you know the the value tend to have more than just one value card inside this is vanifar evolved enigma which is a mythic card it's a three four elf ooze wizard cost four and simic at the beginning of combat on your turn choose one cloak a card from your hand can be very strong you can just do that for blinds for example or for you know uh, face up cards and so many uses for this or put a plus one plus one counter on each color screen you control oh this can spiral out of control and limit it so quickly it's not even funny if you don't deal with this as soon as it enters you're gonna be catching up to them so you have to kill it a, a good galvanize or a way to just kill it for sure because otherwise you're gonna be screwed that's definitely a card that you want to first pick if possible i would say um of course it's a it's a dual colored card first pick but at the same time this whole set is multiple colors so you kind of have to go one color or another and so yeah it's up to you if you want to narrow yourself from the beginning evidence examiner is a two tumor for detective as simic at the beginning of combat on your train you may collect four evidence and whenever you collect evidence investigate extremely strong it doesn't add up okay uh return a target creature card from graver to the battlefield and you suspect for five so it's a reanimate um and it's two black pips actually pretty good i i don't mind that and then we have case and seasons assist exile up to two target cards from a single graveyard and target player gains two life and draws a card at instant speed okay that's not bad for two that's not bad at all and for six you destroy an artifacts and enchantments i i think and the right deck this could actually shine because there are you know prison effects there are definite effects that you could do with both surveillance monitors a three three video Dalkin Detector costs four. It's blue when it enters the battlefield. Let me collect four evidence. And uh, whenever you collect the evidence, you create a 1 1 Thopter Color. This artifact creature token with flying. Hmm, I like this one too. Oh, Kylox, the visionary inventor. I like the the, the illustration. It's so beautiful. As a 4 4 Vyashino or Vyashino Artificer that costs seven with is it? Has Mess Ward 2 and Haste. Okay, so it's fairly expensive for that, but it's, it's not bad. Uh, so far whenever it and attacks sacrifice any number of creatures oh no then excel the top x cards of the library where x is the total power you may cast any number of instant or sorcery spells from among them without cards without paying their mana cost this is more of a constructed card for sure could be a fun commander or a fun um commander card for sure uh, but other than that i'm not certain that it would shine in limited uh, i wouldn't choose it unless absolutely i had to let's just leave it uh that okie dokie so i'm trying to go here we have the harried hustle and bustle branch Come familiar oh it's a kitty i love kitties ah i got two cats myself hope and misty and it's a one one white cat it costs only one and you can disguise it for two and when it's turned face up return another target permanent you can 
control to its owner's hand and put a plus one plus one counter on the floor of familiar, which could be actually not bad because you can do it as a bounce effect to save a card. So this in the right deck could be really good. Yaros, Roar of the Old Gods. It's a 4-4 center druid that costs four with Gruul. Other creatures you control have haste. Okay, can be good. Whenever one or more face down creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, you draw a card. That is really good. And then whenever a face down creature you control dies, return to battlefield face down under its owner's control if it's a permanent card and turn face up. That is insane. Again, same thing. If you don't deal with them, you're going to have a bad time. So Greystone Strider. Oh, mystery key. Okay. Well, yeah, that's nice. Um, that's, It's a nice little slot item. And that's a beautiful art of Vanifar. Oh, okay. The Vanifar that we saw probably in the dossier. Very beautiful art. They're much more whimsical, these uh, dossier arts. More stylized anyway from what i can tell uh, they're beautiful beautiful cards as usual the art in uh, this is incredible a fuss and bother don't think we've seen this one you put a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature you control with it uh, on the instant side can be strong in this color combination it's a bit expensive but it, if done right it can be good and then for bother for sex create three one one crow let stop their artifact creature tokens with flying and surveil two yeah the bother is a bit expensive for what it does but yeah so not bad. Missway Spy, one one that costs one more for detective and it's blue. Flying this guy's for two when it is turned face up until the end of turn. Whenever creature you control this combat damage to a player, you get to investigate. Okay, that's interesting. That is very interesting. And we have a Leyland of the Guild Pack. This is one of the most sought after cards and um, you'll see pretty much why. This is not a limited card unless you play some shenanigans like the mid -mizzet. Uh But anyway, it costs Selesny combinations, uh, Simi combination, Bulgari combination, and the Gruul combination, and any of this. Uh, so it's four colors. It's an enchantment, it's a laying land. So if it's in your opening hand, you may begin the game within the battlefield. Each known land permanent you control is all colors. Great. And as you control our basic, uh, our every basic land type in addition to their other type. So that is a great, great open right there. Now we have a beautiful candlestick. Well, and the planes and a thopter. So that is lucky. We got uh, one. One of the best cards of the set and uh yeah it's a really cool one too i love the illustration of the lead line anyway there we go Sorry, I opened that off camera. I know there's gonna be people maybe thinking, oh my God, he's put something in there. This is a fake one. Oh my God. No, we didn't. Auspicious arrival. We don't do that here. We don't care. We just enjoy the unboxings. All right. Seeing that, seeing that. Ooh, lots of rare faces. Uh, so this was, uh, it's nice to see lots of return again, with, of course, with the Arvnica. As a two, three shape shifter with a detective that costs uh, the mirror. And when it attacks, as I'll target card from a grave, than investigate and when you sacrifice a clue you may have this card become a copy of a creature of course it has to become a copy of something a creature card exile with it until the end of turn this guy is a shapeshifter so he always likes to become a copy of something and then we have doorkeeper throw one two throw that costs two as one flash flying artifacts and creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger okay that can shut down a lot of flip cards but at the same time you're shutting down yours as well so i don't know if you want to play it so it's it's a tough choice. It's not it's not bad, but yeah, it depends on the deck that you're trying to build. It might be more of a sideboardable card uh, necessarily. Okay, then uh, we only have a few more. Thanks for bearing with us as usual. We hope you're enjoying your drink and you're enjoying the company. And uh, yeah, we crack some beautiful cardboard. Uh, of course. Oh, cool. Surprise witness is new. Cost two is white sorcery. Return target creature card with mana value three or less for greater to the battlefield. Okay. It's sorcery speed that's kind of annoying put a flying counter on it it's a spirit in addition to these other types um could be good could be good and the right deck agency outfitter cost six strength decisive uh, which we saw before oh nice the meticulous archive that is beautiful and yet another one this is the azurus one. Oh, the bar servitor we've seen him before make your move and an island yep and that was a good pack because of that beautiful beautiful azurus dual land i love the dual lands i am a sucker for dual lands i used to have quite a 
collection of them back in the day and uh, yeah still love them today okay so oh, matrix binding yep we saw that one as well okay deadly complication yep we saw that saw that saw that outrageous robbery costs x and two black pips it's an instant target opponent excels the top x cards of the library face down and you may look at the and play those cards for as long as they remain excelled if you cast a spell this way you may spend mana as though it were mana when you type to cast it again you're playing off of randomness and it's tricky if you get lucky you can have a good time if you get unlucky you're gonna have a bad time so yeah it's it's really situational and i don't like randomness already in a game that has so much of it okay let's move on to this beautiful beautiful next pack okay hard hitting question sorcery in one green target creature control deals combat damage equal to the um deal damage equals to the power to target creature planes what you don't control okay that's a damage fling spell case of the filch falcon it's a blue case it costs only one blue and when this case enters the battlefield you investigate then you to solve you control three or more artifacts which is not that hard and then you solve with three you sack this you put four plus one plus one counters on none uh creature artifact it becomes a one one a zero zero bird with flying wow i really like this one that's really really good i think then we have expedited inheritance <laughs> okay <laughs> that is really grim it's double red pip it's an enchantment whenever creatures dealt damage its control makes out that many cards from the top of their library they may play those cards until the end of their next turn yeah this is a, a, a javel it's it's really helpful to your opponents as well so definitely don't play it and even to be fair in, in a constructed environment i don't know that i would play it um, myself but you know maybe there's somebody who out there who can make some really crazy fun synergies or shenanigans with that okay we only have three boosters including this one left so let's see what do we got here so far i'm very 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 happy very happy with what we got it's going to drink again that's more chalk outline okay towards the witness poor poor witness you know snitches get stitches and here they got carbonized and it's x and one red it's a sorcery it deals twice x damage is a target creature wow that's really good if excess damage was dealt to the creature this way i can investigate that is really strong actually l tank explosion cost four with uh, is it on the cost sorcery draw two cards then you may discard two cards and when you do l times explosion deals x damage to this creature where x is the greatest amount of value amongst cards this card this way to each creature that's good that's a good wipe and a color combination that usually doesn't get good wipes so that's not bad unauthorized exit especially for this low uh cost so low cost you know so that's that's not bad at all i like that okay two more and then we're done thanks for sticking with us and thanks for joining us back in if you have not seen any of our videos in a while either way thank you case of the burning mask okay masks for three with two red pips when it's battlefield deals three damage target the creature and opponent controls the double red pip could be annoying but it could be really good again it's not instant speed though so keep that in mind to solve three or more sources you control dealt damage this turn could be creatures and then you sack it and exile the top three cards of library you choose one of them you play this card this turn yeah not bad at least you get some damage out of it if you don't solve it so that's always good it is a bit expensive compared to some of the other ones so a galvanizer would be better but you know, so it's up to you not a matter watch exile target attacking creature that we saw earlier oh the knife okay it's the red of the equipments the cost two generator to equip and it's one red it's an artifact of course as long as it's your turn a quick creature gets plus one plus zero and has first strike very annoying and then you can sack it to draw a card because it's a clue yeah could be really annoying sharp-eyed rookie okay it's a two two that costs two it's green human detective vigilance whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control it is if its power is greater than this card uh, or its toughness is greater than it you get to put a plus one plus one counter on it and because of the disparity of power and toughness this could actually be pretty pretty powerful and snowballing really quickly it's a reblock in foil and oh we get an apocalypse card future warrior <laughs> i've seen this card in forever that's so cool and then a forest and an art and this is the last one that's it this is the last that we have here thanks for sticking around thank you for joining us and 
again make sure to check out our other videos if you are interested private eye faith flight oh i like the normal one as well okay lamplight phoenix another phoenix with so three three that costs three with two red pips flying when it dies you make sell it collect evidence for if you do return to the battlefield tab because it's a phoenix of course oh and argus agris cost spirit of justice a two four spirit detective the boss in the cost is only cost four double strike and vigilance that's really good and when there's a battlefield or attacks choose up to one target creature okay if it's suspected is highly otherwise suspected very nice oh and a foil rare wow this pack was cramped treasurer's greed and a dance it forest and a dog so what to say i think this set is fun and i think actually i really enjoyed opening a box like this now all boxes are gonna be as uh, well what they used to be um the old set booster so in the end you get value out of it i think that if you're wanting to get a lot of cards out of here so for example the dual lands and some of the cooler cards in the set definitely crack a box open i love the set itself i think they've done a lot of great things with it so yeah if you if you want to go for it crack those packs um i think this is a beautiful beautiful expansion so far it's pretty fun it has a lot of fun mechanics and i can't wait to dress with it so that was it from myself and scotty we really thank you for the time if you have any comments or any feedback please let us know in the comments down below as we read and reply to every one of them and if you liked our video why not give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it does help small channels like ours a lot and until the next one we wish you a lovely day a blessed day be good be kind and we'll see you in the next one bye